This review is made possible by clearwater.ie. So I've flown down to the south of France for the launch of the Peugeot 508 and the Peugeot Rifter. And if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button because we're about to get serious with some Peugeot. have launched some very interesting cars and at the moment there isn't much more interesting than the 508. This is a three-box saloon being launched at a time where everyone else is pushing their crossovers and sporty electric models. Peugeot have brought out two petrols and two diesels. Petrol brings us 180 brake horsepower and a sporty 225 brake horsepower both 1.6 litre petrol. The diesel is offered in a 1.5, 130 horsepower manual or auto and a 2 litre with 160 or 180 brake horsepower, both of them automatics. These aren't the only changes Peugeot has made to its lineup in the 508. It's actually smaller than the outgoing model by about 15 mils. It's rare that car companies get smaller when they make things, but Peugeot do that from time to time. They make things smaller rather than bigger. Handling wise, they've done a great job and the suspension is brilliant. The steering wheel has now gone into that small family look as well. This, the uh, dashboard is elevated up to the top and you have the sat nav in the center, which is quite small and a tiny bit confusing to look at. Um, it's kind of hard to follow, especially now we just came out of Monaco, which is at the best of times hard to navigate. Um, but on that sat nav was pretty difficult now. In the press conference, Peugeot were keen to point out that there's a large business to business base that they aim to target with fleet sales and of course, to get the competition. They specifically and strategically have placed the car against the BMW 3 Series, the Volvo S60, uh, the Passat. You know, they're really pushing into that market. Mondeo doesn't exist as much in that market these days. It needs replacing and updating. So the main competition is coming from the luxury German brands. And that's where Peugeot are after, particularly with this one, which is the GT line. A good chunk of the press talk was taken up with how a car devalues. It was very interesting to hear that Peugeot want the 508 to feel the same after it has covered 90,000 miles or three years. Now, if it's still the same as new, that would be seriously impressive. The cabin, yes, that really does look good. I think some of the functionality is lost because of the way it looks. Um, everything's kind of tilted towards the driver, including the sat nav and all the controls. But it, they've still failed to, to put the heating controls as a physical button instead of this touch screen affair, which is always very confusing for people. While we're on this vitally important launch, I thought I'd sit down and have a chat with the marketing manager for Peugeot Ireland, Emma Toner. Good roads. It's, uh, well, <laughs> twisty, interesting, <laughs> good fun for some, yeah. Good for the 508. It was great. Um, it gave us a chance to, to showcase the different suspension settings. So you can choose sport or, or comfort, depending on how you want to drive on a particular day. And is Ireland ready for 508? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we've gained a, a huge market share, fastest growing car brand in Ireland this year. In a market that's fairly static, we're up 50%. We've uh, entered, re-entered into a top 10 position um, for passenger cars and kept our LCV market share at number five. So a very strong year and that's on the back of SUV performance for 2008, 3008 Irish Car of the Year and the new 5008 7 seater. You can expect to see this in your showrooms very soon. It will definitely be out for the 2019 market. There's a few other lineups coming as well. The SW will be revealed, which is the station wagon version of this. Seen pictures of it, looks fantastic. It'll be revealed in the Paris Motor Show uh, later on this year, and you'll see it in the showrooms next year. So it'll be on 2019. Definitely a successful car, looks fantastic, looks really does look the part and drives incredibly well. See if Peugeot can find some sales for it now is the next step of course uh, in this market that is completely swarmed by SUVs and small crossover vehicles and suddenly there's a three box saloon for sale that's nice. So we see what happens with sales wise. Uh, hopefully by now you have hit that subscribe button or learned what it is you wanted to learn from this video. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Until then, I will see you on the far side. This review is made possible by clearwater.ie.